What was your oh crap over underdressed moment? My girlfriend at the time talked me into wearing my tux to a jazz concert at an upscale place. Turned out the only people wearing tuxes were the ushers. Tuxes very much like mine. Got lots of strange looks. People seem to be thinking why is that usher buying drinks? Why is it usher sitting in the audience? ETC. Got the strangest looks from the ushers themselves. Very awkward. The master at our martial arts gym put together a holiday party at a restaurant and invited another school run by a friend of his. When asked about the dress code he emphasized it was casual and to just throw on a nice shirt. I wore nice jeans and a knit sweater over a collared shirt, and my classmates were also casual or smart casual. We get there and everyone is in suits and cocktail dresses, including our master and one of our classmates, who we later learned he was sleeping with. Not only that, but the time he gave us to arrive was an hour later than everyone else's. I mingled a bit and very quickly put two and two together. It was the other school that had put on the party, and our master managed to get an invitation that he thought meant for his whole school. Then he just told us it was our party. It was incredibly freaking embarrassing. Yeah these 20 guys are my plus one. First year in a dorm. Flintstones Halloween party on my floor. My girlfriend and I were the only ones to show dressed up out of 50 people. She was embarrassed as frick. Forgot to dress up when I presented my thesis work in college. Everyone from my department was presenting in formal wear, and I showed up in a t-shirt and jeans. My thesis advisor did not look happy, but I still managed to graduate. Had a job interview for the van store at my local mall. Turns out it was a group interview, so I'm the only person there actually dressed for an interview while literally everyone else is wearing van's garb. Didn't get the job. Showed up to a white trash wedding looking way better than the bride. The fact that it was being held in the front yard of a trailer park should have tipped me off not to bother with, you know, shoes even. To be fair that sounds like shoes would have been the most important thing to be wearing. My friend had a birthday party at a steakhouse and said to dress formally, so I show up in a suit with dress shoes and a tie, only to see everyone is dressed in business casual. That's not formal, Jason you insufferable C. So just lose the tie and jacket. Still on the overdressed side but not too much. Not me but my mother goes to the beach in a dress, hose, heels, and pearls. She just sits there on a beach towel bitching about how underdressed everyone is. Dear god I hope she brings a parasol and shaker of martinis. This sounds like a great time. TLDR. Once showed up to a wedding in a soaking wet tuxedo. A while back I was working on a marine patrol unit and one of our guys was getting married. Despite the veiled protests of his bride's quite wealthy family a few of us lowly civil servants were selected to be groomsmen. This was allowed largely on the condition that we conduct ourselves appropriately, as her family was spectacularly intent on the whole thing being a classy and proper affair. Unfortunately because of the way things were with scheduling and all, we still had to cover the early morning part of our shift before our relief was would come in. The three of us worked our scheduled time, hit the showers and then changed into our tuxes and went out to wait in the public parking lot for the limo that was supposed to come and pick us up. It was late in the summer so we had the usual high winds and big waves, and while we stood there waiting and looking out over the water, we saw a kite boarder get tangled up in his own lines and go under dangerously close to the rocky brick wall. Without much of a thought other than that we were a heck of a lot closer to him than anyone else on duty at the time. The three of us idiots sprinted across the lot, scrambled up and over the rocks, and went in after him in our full, rented wedding regalia. We managed to untangle and fish him out without much difficulty, although I can't imagine the thoughts that must have been going through his head when he saw us coming for him. Anyway, it only took us a little bit to get him back up and safely on his way. Shortly after that the limo showed up for us. Long story short, we did the best we could to straighten ourselves up on the ride over, in between helping ourselves to the amply stocked tiny limo bar, but still ended up with no choice other than sloshing ourselves into the church in varying degrees of disarray, wearing soaking wet tuxedos covered in degrees of seaweed, sand, dirt and muck. We all pretty much looked like we had just wallowed in a wet pile of garbage. Bride's family was not very happy with us. Considering you probably saved someone's life, they can f right off. 
I play bagpipes competitively, and was invited to play at a competition in Pittsburgh, PA when I was 16 and 17. The first year I was there, they had a reception the night before the competition where all the judges would be performing. I got dressed up in my full kilt, jacket, everything, and got there to see everyone dressed in just regular clothing. I'm talking t-shirts and flip flops. Next year, same deal. There's a reception the night before the competition. Not wanting to be overdressed like last time, I decide to just wear jeans and a polo. I get to the reception, and literally every single person is dressed up. To make the memory worse, the butthole who was in charge of these things made a speech about how proud he was to see the art of piping becoming popular, and that each and every competitor had dressed their best for the reception. That pee me off. You heard me at I play bagpipes competitively. Friend invited me to wedding, wore a nice button up dress shirt and some black dress pants. Some 10 year old kid shows up with the same shirt and pants. I'm surprised they fit him. For my first job, I thought I already had it and was stopping by to fill in paperwork. So I showed up to my first interview in front of three very professional people wearing a sweaty t-shirt with the sleeves torn off and basketball shorts. Got the job. I went to a theme dance that had a wear only one color theme. I was the only one who followed it leaving me wearing nothing but bright green in the middle of a regular dance. This also annoyed me because the previous theme was wild west and two guys came dressed as cows and everyone followed the theme. I don't think those people understand what a theme is. Last year, a friend threw a Christmas party and the whole thing was wear an ugly Christmas sweater or on Ishii PJ. So I spent the whole week prior trying to figure out which one I wanted, and I was on the fence between buying an ugly sweater or buying an onishi. I found a cool Batman onishi that fit and then I found a vulgar ugly Christmas sweater. I decided to get the sweater because it costed less. So I go to the party with another friend, who wore her own onishi, and we get there and besides the two of us, literally three other people out of like 15-20 wore either a sweater or onishi. But whatever, my sweater of two male reindeer banging got the laughs I hoped for. This should not be embarrassing for you since you did the right thing. I went to a rooftop restaurant at the hotel I was staying at in Santa Monica, called to save us a seat and they said no sandals or t-shirts. Fine, I arrive wearing a simple dress and see that everyone just got off the runway and had their hair and makeup pristine. It was like everyone there was a model. I've never felt so underdressed in my life. Apparently you needed to be done up for happy hour. So maybe not as drastic as some here but still awkward as heck. When I first moved to NYC I had got invited to a party by one of my co-workers that was on a rooftop and thrown by her fashion friends. Initially I declined saying I didn't really have anything to wear but she assured me my BB suit would do. Just take the tie off and roll up your sleeves. It'll be funny I recall her saying. Get there and it's straight out of the devil wears Prada and my co-worker plus her friends are also dressed insanely chic. No one else in a suit maybe blazers. But you get it. I got a couple comments like you just come from work, at a bank, just graduated and the like. Or full evening, I talk to the bartender more than anyone else. At first I thought you were talking about the band and got confused. I went to church because my friend's dad died. It wasn't the funeral yet but the body was there. I was the only one in a black dress. Everyone was super casual and no one else was dressed in black. I felt weird. I'm sure no one there thought it was out of the ordinary that you were wearing a black dress. Showing up to a Halloween party in a skimpy sexy costume when everyone else was wearing straight up gore or masculine cosplay outfits, including the other girls. It was like the complete opposite of mean girls. It's the opposite of mean girls, but the same as legally blonde. Guy asks if I wanted to grab a bite to eat after Drill Army National Guard, with some other people from his unit. Sure. Sounds cool. I'm thinking Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. Ripped jeans, old worn shirt, converses and leave my hair in a bun. I ride with him. IT was just US and IT was this extremely nice Italian restaurant. He literally tricked me into going on a date with him. Ugh that happened to a friend of mine at uni a guy said a group of us from the same class were going to dinner. She got there and it was just him. Most awkward dinner ever. 
I have a large extended Asian family and someone had died. There was a memorial dinner at a restaurant and after consulting my mother, I was 13, we decided it was a casual affair because normally our clan is a fairly casual group. Welp. I showed up in a hot pink Hollister shirt and a mini skirt and was greeted by at least three great aunts in a long black dresses. So underdressed. Such dishonor. At least my one weird uncle also missed the memo and showed up in jorts. There is always that one weird uncle. In college I opened the door to what I thought was the roommate I had locked out while wearing only bra shorts. Was Mormon missionaries. That was probably their come to Jesus moment. Not me, but my sister. She wore a hoodie and jogging bottoms to our grandmother's very formal Catholic funeral. They were black, at least, although the hoodie had some sort of picture on the back. She is extremely socially awkward and doesn't seem to have a sense of what's appropriate to wear in what situation. Some extended family gave her strange looks but as far as I know, nobody said anything to her about it. I hope not because she was devastated at my grandmother's funeral. And although it was an odd choice of outfit, it didn't really matter. Your gran was dead, so she was hardly going to lodge a complaint. Grandpa's funeral. Me and the so show up dressed in black and dark grey. Everyone else, including my dad, his son, and my grandma, his widow, were in bright orange, blue, pink etc and khaki pants casual skirts. I saw sandals. We were in ties and business style formal dark clothes. Apparently grandpa said wear something comfortable at his funeral. A message no one bothered to pass on to me who flew 2000 miles to get there. Felt like a freaking idiot and an outsider. I'd like to think grandpa knew exactly what he was doing. Playing one last grandfatherly prank on the grandson. I was the most awkward teenager in the world and I couldn't find anything to wear for my cousin's wedding so I wore jeans, a long top and converse. I mean my mum asked but the second I arrived I felt so stupid. The jeans didn't even fit nicely and they were blue. Oh god no not blue jeans. This one wasn't me but I used to work at a clothing store at a resort hotel in Waikiki. Since a t-shirt, shorts and slippers, flip flops for you mainlanders, were perfectly okay for this job it would have been just about impossible to show up for an interview underdressed. And yet remarkably a woman managed to pull that off by showing up for an interview not just in a two piece bikini but a wet one. Like she had literally just walked out of the ocean and into our store. She was also well into her 40s and had that leathery skin that comes from spending all your time in the sun. She didn't get the job. Amazing. Hawaii must be different. First time I was summoned for jury duty. I dressed up like I was going to a job interview. I thought that because it's jury duty, you dress nicely. Walked in to see everyone else in shorts jeans and flip flop sneakers. Only people dressed up were the lawyers, the defendants, and the courtroom personnel. Me and my brother were going to a friend's Christmas party. We were told it was fancy dress so we were going as Batman and Robin. Turns out the host died and it was now his wake so we came in looking like a right pair of plonkers whilst everyone else was in suits. Met the parents in the city for brunch. I biked and they drove in. I wore a biking jersey. Everyone else had collared shirts. Oh man, that's a great typo. When I was in first grade, my grandmother gave me some shirts for Christmas. My mom made me write out thank you notes and I also left the R out of shirts. Dear grandma, thanks for the shoots. That stayed on her fridge for a few years. Oh, I'll need this imported common uniform for my first day of high school. And this is how I learned that the average US high school does not, in fact, have uniforms. In college, we had a party at my girlfriend's duplex. I was the first one up in the morning and started cleaning up the beer bottles off of the shared second story balcony. I wasn't fully awake as I waved at an entire family all dressed up for church that was walking past. It took them giving me very strange looks to realize I was standing there in just my boxers, beer bottle in one hand, scratching my butt with the other hand, at 9am on Easter morning. They shouldn't judge. That's what Jesus was wearing on that same day. My husband at the time was being awarded by the American Red Cross for being a hero. They had a cocktail event aboard a ship the night before the awards brunch. 
The invitation was very informal but had been sent out months in advance. We kind of forgot about it with work, school, and kids. We had gotten home the day of the cocktail event, changed into comfortable clothes and went about our nightly ritual of feeding the kids, homework and some time to relax when I glance at the fridge. It dawns on me oh crap. That's in 15 minutes, there was no time to change. We jump in the car and go. We get there and it's very formal. And there I stand in ripped jeans and a hoodie my husband in shorts and a stained t-shirt. Both of us in flip flops. I was beyond embarrassed. I made a very concentrated effort to dress the part the following day for the awards. But to this day I still cringe when I think about it. I am of the opinion that heroes get to wear whatever they want. This right extends to whoever is arriving with the hero. This probably doesn't matter though, because my opinion means Dudley squat in real life. I once went to a club in the city for a friend of a friend's birthday party with two other guys. We thought the place doesn't look that classy so we'll just dress like we're going to a bar. Long story short we all go wearing cargo shorts and t-shirts. We get into the club and everyone is wearing suits and classy dresses we look like idiots being the only three in there wearing casual clothes. It was okay though. We knew the bartender and got free drinks all night. You brought it on yourselves by wearing cargo shorts. Instructor said to dress up, so I did. Wore tux to give a 15 minute college presentation, black bow tie and all. Didn't own and couldn't afford a suit or sport coat. Did have my old high school orchestra outfit. Didn't feel like walking miles into town to troll thrift stores for 15 minutes so just figured. F it. Was actually praised and then used to mercilessly shame the guy who went after me for wearing his normal clothes. Albeit he was a rich kid with nice clothes while I was on scholarship. Still makes me chuckle. Life hack. If you need a tuxedo, buy a Halloween costume one. Just because it's not made of fancy imported fabric from the best designer in Europe doesn't mean it isn't exactly as functional as a real tux. Unless your guests are huge fashion freaks nobody's likely even going to notice. I know I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I went to a hackathon a few years ago. A hackathon is basically a geek meetup where you form into small groups and try like mad to create some clever new technology in one 3 days. You have a mix of different software disciplines. Programmers, graphics people, business people, etc. You work some long days and make something neat and then present it to judges for crappy prizes. I showed up on day 1 to the beer social, which I assumed would be all white guys in shorts drinking beer and complaining about PHP. So I showed up in my cargo shorts and NASA t-shirt. Oh, this hackathon is actually attached to an international medical conference on health. And all the doctors and medical administrators from around the world are there. And I'm there in my freaking cargo shorts chatting with a thoracic surgeon in a designer blouse. It wasn't open bar so I didn't see a reason to stick around for long. Last year, my boyfriend, cousin, and myself drove up to my hometown to go to a dinner theater Halloween event my sisters were both actresses in. We heard there would be a costume contest, so we got into our Halloween costumes and drove up. I was dressed as a monster, my boyfriend was a dinosaur, and my cousin dressed as a lost boy, basically raccoon pajamas with dirt smeared all over her. So we get to the show and it turns out it was at a fancy country club, catered by a high-end restaurant, and every single costume there was elegant, highly formal, and 20s themed. We showed up in wacky costumes literally looking like dirty animals. Got Suru many stairs. It was hilarious. I'm a waitress at a fancy French place. My boss said we could dress up, edit, for Halloween. So I came in with a unicorn costume on. None of the other servers dressed up. I had a cute headband with ears and a silver horn and a rainbow tail. Most of the snobby customers just pretended I wasn't wearing it. I jaff. That is a sweet costume. It was just so bizarre standing a foot from people dressed as a unicorn and not have them acknowledge it. We had a Christmas party in med school at a bar. I wore Christmas colors cause I'm kinda a goofy person. All of the other girls were in little black dresses and stilettos. No one thought it was funny how I dress but the guys in the ugly Christmas sweaters were all cool. I felt so lame. Frick them. That sounds cute. And comfier than stilettos. I came in a bright blue heck bunny pinup dress, as in, there were pinup girls printed all over the blue dress, 
with red borders, to a dating party, hosted and mostly frequented by, wannabe classy people in black dresses or white shirts and all that standard friends friends wedding clothing. At a Palestinian music festival, I came in long black leggings and a somewhat lame floral dress and black shrugs to respect the Muslim modesty standards. I felt like a mumu donning old lady between all the scantily clad young women and their hot pants and crop tops. Not at all what I expected women to dress like in Ramallah. All that date when I got all pretty in a dress and a frilly yellow jacket. And it turned out he just wanted to booze and frick and dressed accordingly. Comma dressed accordingly. So he wore nothing but a condom and a wife beater. And showed up with a six pack of Colt 45. Gotcha. We've all been there was in a rush one morning and ended up driving to the grocery store in a tank top and my boxes. I didn't wanna waste gas and drive home so I just kinda ran around grabbing my food. I was invited to hang out at a bar I had never been to or had any context of how to dress. I live in a college town so I figured it was like every other bar. I have jeans and a nicer t-shirt hoodie on. Everyone else is wearing dress clothes, nice suits, and ties. Frick, I didn't know. Oh well. A couple weeks later I'm invited to that place again. I throw on some kick butt dress clothes. I show up. Everyone is wearing tuxes. Frick that bar. Constantly one-upping me. If you wear a tux there everyone else will be wearing Hawaiian shirts, khaki shorts, and flip flops. Got invited to work the bar of a rugby club's annual dinner. My uncle, a member of the club told me and my boyfriend to dress smart casual. The dress code was suit and tie smart, not smart casual. Very very awkward. I went to the orchestra in jeans and a hoodie. I figured it wouldn't be too crowded and I'd go support the local music scene. Well it was packed and people were very dressed up. It was so crowded people were being turned away. They did not appreciate a broke, scruffy college student getting in instead of them. When I'm on stage playing in an orchestra I wear full tails, or whatever the dress code is. When I'm in the audience I'm in ratty jeans and a t-shirt. Let the people that dress up for the orchestra enjoy it as part of their experience. Personally I don't see the need to get all worked up over it. Was out applying for jobs one day. Really wanted to stop by the scrapyard on the way home to drop off a resume. Fully suited up. Vest and tie. Shiny shoes, open the door to office part and all I hear is we got Jesus already, don't even bother, mumbled out I was here to drop off a resume, had to explain why I was overdressed and got the job that day, went home, changed, came back, smoked a bowl with a new co-worker and proceeded to strip copper wire all day, best job I ever had. Got invited to a wedding, never been to the place it's at, no info on the card. Just the people getting married time and location. Messaged her on FB saying I would be there. Bought a gift card and didn't look into it any more than that. I wore a nice formal dress. Did my hair, heels, makeup, show up and the nicest person dressed there besides me. And of course the dang bride was a girl in sundress and flats. Everyone else, there was about 30-50 people there, was in jeans and t-shirts. Some older people were even in sweats. Very very casual wedding. I stuck out like a sore thumb. Almost wanted to go grab some jeans and a tee out my trunk and flip flops but I was too afraid it would just draw more attention. Didn't want people saying, did that fancy girl really go change? One Saturday morning I went to the university cafeteria for brunch in a red shirt. When I walk in I see a sea of blue. Then I realize that today's the yearly football game with our rival university. Their color is red and our color is blue. After hastily finishing the most awkward meal in my life, right before I walk out, I see a shade of red at the other end of the cafeteria. I'm not alone. I decide to check out who he is. Make a joke of how we're both ignorant and maybe make a new friend. When I got close, I saw his cane and sunglasses. Yes, he's blind. I was 12 years old at a campground with some family friends. I went to the pool, took off my sundress, and hopped in. Only once in did I realize I was not wearing a swimsuit top. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.